Yo guys, I've got a spark which I'm going to use to ignite the fire for another episode of the Scandalous franchise Ignite on Slow Runners. We continue to tackle these here desert arenas and put behind us the tragedy of the fruit safeguarding mission because, you know, I can't emphasize this enough. Whilst Igniter is great at many things, Fruit Garden is not one of said many things, and it's rather unfortunate and big sad. It upsets me. You hear me? That's what it does. It upsets me. Anyway, sinkhole. That doesn't upset me. I quite enjoy the sinkhole, actually. You know, being able to knock back enemies with ease into it, just instant kill as they fall to their ultimate demise. I am ready. Once again, thank you for asking, Mr. Announcer Guy. Now, let's increase our multiplayer by, um, well, not multiplayer, multiplier by hitting those crates before enemies arise, so then we can earn more enemy, uh, more points from said enemies, even. Ouch, you know what? Getting hit there was all part of my plan. Especially since that's what led me to being able to jump over the barrel uh, blast so easily. The barrel bot glass, which is a bit of a mouthful, now I think about it. Boom, baby! Mm. That was some pretty good food by the sound of it. Anyway, let's slash that guy down. This guy, too, for good measure. Boom, baby. Okay, here we are. Boom! Let's be slashing it down. Ouch. Pain. Ouch, also more pain. Luckily for me, that's what I have food for. Plenty of it too, that's what's great about the curses, you know, they give you so much food all the time. Okay, boom, I love the fact that we can take those guys down, you know. They have about 200 health. Well, Igniter obliterates enemies with a measly 200 health, it's just not nearly enough. Maybe if you have health, you know, for five digits, you might stand a small chance against Igniter. But otherwise, there is no chance to be stood. I almost feel sorry for the fools that don't have that much health. You know, for the five, maybe six digit health numbers. You know, maybe five digits isn't enough. Not even five. They gotta go all the way up to the hundreds of thousands of health to stand the tiniest, minute chance against the might that is igniter over here. Yeah, you know, think about it. One combination dealing 200 damage. All you need to do gives an enemy with 100,000 health that 200 damage just hit them like, I don't know, 500 times or something with that combo. And that's not nearly that bad, to be perfectly honest. Okay, here we go. Oh boy, I'm getting hit. I'm getting hit. I should probably do that much less. I'm getting hit some more food. I need it before I get defeated. Buy an arena again and get a sense of deja vu leading all the way back to the giant solar run, mind you. Okay, here we are. Let's grab some more food. Oh boy, that was a lot of damage to either parties uh, involved. Sweet, we're looking good at long last. How dare you hit me? Luckily for Vito, I got my revenge. I got my revenge. Ouch, that was not good revenge. Oh, but he did follow me in there. Oh wait, this guy has got to go. He saw me turn right around, but he's not escaping my wrath that easily. I need this food quite desperately, in fact. Okay, there we go. We took him down. Ooh, shield. Don't mind if we do. Wait, this is the final stage already. I didn't even notice we got past the first two. I'm too busy just absolutely annihilating it. We we'll see him. Oh, boom! There goes that guy. Okay, let's hit on this fools too whilst we're at it. Very sweet. Okay, bye bye then. Or not. Wow, that guy had a lot of health. But not enough to deal with Igniter, of course. No one never has a, ever even has enough health to deal with Igniter. Especially since, as I said earlier, you're going to need six digits in your health gauge in order to have a small amount of chance against Igniter. And I don't think any enemies in this game, besides maybe boss fights, have that. Now I'm just, you know, taking hits stupidly. Don't know what I'm trying to do, to be perfectly honest. Okay, here we go. I, I need power up, and then I need to destroy some enemies at long last is what I also need. 
No, we lost the food down the freaking pit. We keep losing the food down the freaking pit. Look at that, there goes more food down the freaking pit. Oh, shit! You are fucking kidding me! <laughs> wow, the only reason I lost that arena is because all the food kept falling down the bloody pits! I mean, that and also, I could have played it a hell of a whole lot better. Yeah, I could have. Hmm. But, what we're gonna do here is instead of worrying about doing this arena again, because I'm sick of repeating the same stuff over and over again, it gets so bull and doring, uh, doring? Yeah, so boring and dull, in fact, that I can't even say the words boring due to, you know, the sheer Dordom I'm feeling right now. You see I did it again! So yeah, no need for repetition. No need for making the same dumb stupid mistakes again. We're gonna improve ourselves and we're gonna continue with the story. And by continue with the story, I mean put this here Sheepwreck Islands onto the portal, load that up and get to that level where hopefully we won't lose another life because we've lost one already. Again, due to the fact that food kept falling down the bloody pits. I'm not going to ever forgive the pit for that. At first, me and the pit were friends, but now it has done the unforgivable. It stole all my food. We shall not let that stand. Oh, I'm, I'm warned, all right. Anyway, uh, you know, there might be a sheep monster here, but I'm sure Ignita can deal with these. Anyway, I love the fact that we already have, like, several desert-themed levels in this game, and then the Sheep Wrecked Islands comes in, and it's practically another desert level. Hopefully it doesn't have sand pits, though. Well, that was easy, talking them into it. Uh, so yeah, let's take this off the portal and then head into the level. Without further ado. But yes, I look forward to when I acquire charms after ranking up to a certain portal master rank, so then I can retackle that level with renewed fury. You can't go wrong with some good old classical renewed fury and all that. Anyway, I would be skipping this uh, cutscene right now if not for the fact that we don't skip the cutscenes from the Skarnas franchise Ignite or Solo Run. How do we? Oh boy, it's ominous and atmospheric -y. Oh, I like that word now, atmospheric -y. That's a cool word. Oh boy, it's for sheep, mage! Yep, Flynn just fits right in. Oh, Flynn, you blew it! But, I mean, come on, this guy was kind of like being nice to the sheep, so surely the sheep mage should respect him. He likes sheep, Flynn likes sheep, they have something in common, so just hug it out and become best mates already. You know, next thing you know, Flynn will be this guy's best man at his wedding. That really makes the utmost sense, that does be how friendship works. Now he is a sheep. I mean, is there really much wrong with that? Because again, he likes sheeps. So if he likes sheep, is it really that bad being one of them? And I also find it really cool how those sheeps are jumping over Flynn as a sheep right there. You know, we all know for typical um, bedtime ideal or ideology even behind counting jumping sheep. So that definitely 100% totally works and making you feel sleepy. I mean, believe everything you hear, and I just said that, meaning that you heard what I just said, so that's why you should believe it, all the same. Anyway, we need to destroy this thing, mostly because I feel like it, no reason. Okay, here we are. Ooh, treasure, don't mind if we do. Now that guy's gonna be sucked in. No! Yeah, I'm not that bothered. Besides, he's fine. Look at him! He's fine! Either way, let's pop onto the portal out for we do this here hidden treasure, as I always seem to do. Oh wow, it's nearby already. What is it, back here or something? Yes, yes it is, back here or something. Well, that was a quick one. Man, look at all this treasure though. This is like, you know, an absolute gold mine. With, you know, gold and other pieces of treasure and coins, everything um, in between and everything, regardless of us be popping down here, grabbing some more treasure whilst we're at it. Now let's pop up here because I want to defeat these guys for the sake of the experience. Totally worth it. 
After all, this level is actually really good for experience. I expect to level up to 60 at bare minimum, maybe even 70. We'll just have to wait and see, my friends, is what we'll have to wait and do. Mm hmm. So we're going to start pushing out into place, but first I'm just going to head back here and grab that there treasure chest. That's one of three found throughout this level. Reminds me of uh, traditional days of Spyro's Adventure, when there was three treasure chests per level. Then, of course, they increased it to four in Giants. You know, in Giants, it was basically the same collectibles as in Spyro's Adventure, but you got one more treasure chest to find, and you also got Wing Sapphires and Loco Tron Rules in every level. But every level only had one Soul Gem, certain levels in Spyro's Adventure had two, so it wasn't an exact um, replica, but there was always more collectibles in the Giants levels than what there were in the Spyro's Adventure levels at all times. That just be how it works. Yeah, it was always either two or three more collectibles. You could go as far to say and look at the instead. Let's be grabbing the story scroll. But then again, I say that there is an exception with, of course, for adventure pack levels where in Giants they remove some the of the collectibles and you know, shift things around and all that. Either way, um, from all over speaking of adventure packs, this right here the is the Platinum Sheep, but magic item candy. included within the Sheepwreck Islands and adventure pack in and of itself. Interesting to. Learn about the lore behind it, I suppose. Anyway, let's be grabbing all of this treasure right now as we have more sheep mage interruptions because clearly we didn't have enough of that already. Yes, my favorite person to be seen right now, this sheep mage, as he turns into a giant sheep. It's about time they made something sheep orientated. But what I find funny here is that the sheep in this level, despite being a common theme, aren't actually for enemies here. Not like for, you know, fear-inducing enemies of the dragon temple from Imaginators. No, instead, they're a lot more bearable here. I'm oh, sorry, I can't whistle for that part because, uh, you know. Here, our enemies are not the cheap um, sheep fellas that we know and hate. From the Dragon Temple, instead they're just Cyclopses that been special to write home about, and I'd way rather fight these rather than the um, sheep enemies of Imaginators, mind you. Okay, now since we're grabbing all this treasure once again, we love to see it, baby. And up we go. Oh, wait, this guy also needs to be pushed into place, so that's exactly what we're gonna do. I mean, why would we not do that? Sounds like a stupid thing to not do. Anyway, just be slashing down all that stuff some more. Love to see it, we do. We love to see it. Now we can hop down here, hop down here. Boom, baby. 100 for the golden sheep. 100 treasures specifically because the golden sheep, well, it was golden. So it says the name of the collectible in and of itself. All this things and treasures grab back here, but now we can still loop back around in time and head for the floaty platform of awesomeness. It's awesome because it means we now get to track all the way back here. Anyway, we have some awesome music in the background right now. You can't fault that. We're going to hop down here and destroy some more crates for the sake of treasure after once again another sheep mage interlude. I love the fact that all mages have something in common, you know, if they are themed after something in Skylands and they have puppets. Chompy mage has his chompy puppet, this guy has his sheep puppet. Mages just do be loving the uh, puppets apparently. Anyway, I need this treasure up here. It is a need, not a want, so I'm going to fulfill upon my need. Boom! Oh, that doesn't finish him off. Oh, but that next blast did. Haha, <laughs> he had it coming in. There you go, sweet. Okay, finish off that guy, and then boom, combo for the win, and then we're going to do it again over here, boom, combo for the win, and as for the norm, as that gets opened up, so we'll be bouncing, over here there ain't no collectibles besides the undead gate that Igniter unfortunately cannot be accessing as per the norm, what we are going to return to however are these uh, drum kits, like what we saw from Iron Jaw Gulch Mine, you know? this time however it's the sheep that do's be dancing rather than Kangarats, that's one thing Kangarats and Sheep have in common, they love the dance apparently. Either way, there's a random whale right there, pretty odd. 
Hey, I'm glad they filled for barren space with something. You know, you better have something rather than nothing, otherwise you're just barren and boring. Or should I say, it, you know, would do absolute doredom from how much of a door it would be. I don't mean an actual door. I mean, you know, door rather than bore. You know, it would be an absolute bore fest, but instead of bore fest, it's a door fest. And now door fest sounds like it's an actual event now. And if it isn't, it sounds like something that needs to be invented. Because a door fest could be pretty awesome with the right people attending it. You know, people who have just a love of doors. Ouch. Can't say I'd relate to that hobby, to be honest. You know, for love of doors. Ooh, but coins. I love you some coins. Mostly because coins can be used primarily for buying things, and I like buying things, but in this case, unfortunately, all what the coin is good for is opening up the temple. Um, I'm wasting time by having to listen to you. Jeez, when all the NPCs learn this, the more they speak to us, the more they're wasting our time. You know, it's very ironic them uh, saying that we can't waste time as they proceed to waste time on their own accord. Anyway, we're going to grab back here, collect some treasure here at the Temple of Wool. Anyway, uh, what we've got to do here is we've got to push that into the Vortex. That's going to be placed right down for us, and then we can head up here and push this into the Vortex too. Also, whilst we're here, why not raise up the platform? I think that's a good plan if you were to ask me. Oh, whoops. Big, big mistake. Luckily for us, we're not soft lock here. We can just head back up using the vortex itself. Now, good level design right there. It's anti soft lock that their situation when you accidentally fall down. Other way here comes the treasure we were looking for earlier, which is going to be a winged sapphire. Sweet! Yeah, I don't mind if I do with them discounts right there. Would have been more useful before I bought my WoW Power as well as the several other legendary treasures from Tux Emporium. But never mind. Ooh, treasure. Never mind if we do. Anyway, uh, there goes the bonus mission map. We can use that to get more stars after doing all this level. First things first, we've got to hit this vortex again. Boom! Over we go. I'll let us be hopping up here without further ado. Oh yeah, we'd love to see it all right, and then grabbing some more treasure too while we're at it. Why would we not want to be grabbing more treasure too while we're at it? Okay, let's be pushing that. Very sweet. And then we'll be pushing some more, we will. I mean, normally the game expects you to push a block down there, then you fall back on top of a block to go and grab the uh, bonus mission map. But we instead did things alternatively, because you can instead just make the jump and grab the bonus mission map along the way. So I just make the jump rather than having to drop all the way back down after you, of course, drop the block beforehand. You know, it's just a big time waster is what that is, for lack of a better way of putting it. Ooh, treasure chests. Is this another one of the hidden treasure treasure chests? You know, because I know for a fact that hidden treasure spawns in more than one, it just so happens that when you take it off the portal, apparently it just stops giving you the guide. And of course the music when you get close to one, because that is not a regular treasure chest. If it was, we would have got a tick off towards the objectives. Also, it wouldn't have been hidden until we got close to it. But yeah, I'm not going to mind you. More treasure is more treasure, and you can't get much wrong with that at all. Ooh, level up! Thank you very much here, game. I thought he was going to hit at least level 16 in this level. But again, we're still waiting to see if we can surpass this and get even all the way up to level 17, mind you. Even though that is a pretty big ask, I must be honest with all of you. Other way, let's hit the vortex. There we go. And let's just try to use the hand. Yeah, that's the way we love to see them. Other way back here is going to be yet another. Hidden chest! Well, not a literal hidden chest, just a hidden, normal, regular treasure chest, as you told from the objectives being ticked off right now on the top right hand corner, which... Oh boy! You can't see, because that's where all the, what you do see is the two lives I have remaining. Oopsie! Okay, let's be jumping and try not to die here, because dying here is, you know... Shockingly, something that's quite easy to do, especially for yours truly, who often fails at pushing to be good in the video game, but then... Watch out for a slam. I didn't do a good job watching out for a slam. Yeah. 
because here we are. So watch out for a slam again. And again. Oh, that was not a good job, but watch out for a slam. We can head back here and grab some food at the bare minimum. So we can heal up somewhat. After all, food is just about the only way we can heal up in these um, solo runs. It's not like I can bring in a secondary controller and just add Whirlwind and start healing myself up that way with her Horn Blast now, is it? Which is the name of her repos, ironically enough. Horn Blast Whirlwind and all that. Oh wait, these guys have got to go, which is precisely what I'm aiming to do. Boom, baby, and it helps when I have a slam as good as that. Okay, watch out. Boom, boom, and shake that room. Boom, here we go, that's what we'll have to see. Oh, and that's not quite going to get him though, I seem to be a bit short on that air combo. Okay, so let's be heading back here. Now we have some blocks to push. Got to push that all the way in, otherwise we're not going to be able to push that block at the end there. Anyway, we've got to then push this into place before we push that other block down to the Vortex. We instead have yet another block on top of that to be pushing, is what we do have. It is indeed. There we go, we pushed that successfully. So now all we got to do is head all the way round. No big deal. Okay, there we are. Getting there at long last, slowly but surely, mind you. Anyway, there's plenty of treasure to go around, but now that's what do, let's go on there, jump up here, and then we can jump back. That'll just be how jumping works and all that. Anyway, now that we're over here, we can come all the way back and gather this uh, golden sheep right here. Woo! Okay, here we go, more bouncy bouncy. And can you go wrong with bouncy bouncy? <laughs> of course you can't, that was a total question right there. Well, technically you can go wrong with Bouncy Bouncy like I just did, but otherwise you can't go wrong with Bouncy Bouncy unless you go wrong with Bouncy Bouncy. In a literal manner too. Anyway, Bouncy Bouncy aside, we're back out here with some more pies, which is good because I really need to heal up with my... Ha! 69! Noise. Regardless, I seem to have uh, 699 health, so therefore 69 all the same. Okay, watch out then. Oh, sweet, we watch out all the same. There you are, sweet. No, come back to me, my tornado. Why you gotta do this to me, man? So uncool for. Okay, boom. Strike them all down. Strike that guy too. Down whilst we're at it. Okay, very nice. Let's grab that and then. Bit teleporting in our vortex thingy, McBob. Oh, and then just jump down to strike that guy. I see. Okay, there we are. Finish him off just the way we like to see him. And once again, you know, I'm not 50 50 fire and undead. I'm just 100% fire. So unfortunately, I can't be accessing that gate all too effectively. But I can be accessing this treasure at the bare minimum. As well as heading back here and missing the vortex again! Man, me's do be bad at this portion of the level in this here video game. Me do be very bad indeed. I could be saying more, I'm just not. And there he is, the sheep mage himself once again! Boy, I'm getting tired of this guy. Oh, the ultimate sheep warrior, quote unquote. Wow, what the ultimate sheep warrior indeed. No shit, it needs a little work here, Sheep Mage. You should definitely, you know, just uh, go home and get some help. Anyway, we have combat. Yay! Without a hint of sarcasm or shadow of doubt, combat is fun in this game. I like it. Ouch. Especially when Igniter is involved. He makes combat even more fun. Just as he thought combat couldn't get any more fun, Igniter comes in and just makes it so sort of glorious. Oh boy, but taking down uh, these here Vortex Gear Golems, not easy with Igniter apparently. Okay, we've got to get out of here. Igniter, move it! No! Well, there goes another one of my lives, it would seem. 
this is rather unfortunate, but what we can do now is now that we've got the bonus mission map, which is why I attempted to sell them in the first place, we can head back to Woodboro and attempt to pull in the said bonus mission map to conclude the episode with. But man, this is tragic. This might just be the first instance of me losing two lives in the same goddamn episode, all because I press a secondary button to stop my fire spirit, but the game said no. So naturally, I got teleported by the Vortex Gear Golem's freaking Vortex in part of his name mind you and that got me hit there was no way of dodging that bogusness due to just you know the sheer stupidity of this game because even in midair that shockwave fucking hits you which is not the norm in this game normally you jump over stuff and you dodge it that's what the jumping is for but as always you know the game said no because the game does not like me apparently I don't know why it doesn't like me I'm just gonna have to deal with it regardless it's time to head into portal master and Tackle that there bonus mission we unlocked. Um, was it Thief and Varun or Chompy Challenge? I believe it was Thief and Varun, so let's do that to finish things off with. We gotta earn these stars so we can get that, you know, charm that gives us an extra 100 maximum health because that would be a very convenient charm to take advantage of right now. Very convenient indeed. Anyway, we need to receive 75 packages. Oh, I'm familiar with this one. This one's fun. Let's get going, alright. Okay, let's be gathering more gold one way. What does it look like I'm trying to do here, Mr. Announcer Guy? Okay, there we go, sweet. I just hope we earn enough, um... Of course... Tr um, points even, as well as treasure, to afford charms as well as gather all three stars available for us, and not die in the midst of this here bonus mission map because just like arenas this sure would be a, uh, a tragic way to go as so I get hit by a mine whoopsie and mines are an easy way to go given you know how much damage they deal and everything okay there's another thief apparently again announcer guy what does it look like I'm trying to do exactly you know what does this look like to you get back here please I'm asking you nicely there we go, we got in, now we got to watch out for mines again, and we're up to 7 on our multiplier, we need this food, so let's grab it, why not? Oh, another thief, what do you know? Oh, and he's really running this one, this guy's really going for it, it seems like. Oh, he's got himself stuck now, he's got himself stuck in a corner, that's what he's done, the fool. Boom, we got him, fellas, and now we got some fools to take down as well while we're at it. Okay, boom! Ow! That hurt! How very rude of you, sir! I do not appreciate this much. I do not indeed. Anyway, there's more uh, parcels for us to be picking up and plenty more thieves too while they're at it. Hey, get back here, please! I'm asking you nicely, aren't I? Apparently not nicely enough for the game. Whatever the game says goes, apparently. I have no saying against it. So what do we have back here? More projectile dudes that of course I hate. How could I not hate them? They're freaking projectile dudes. You know how much I hate projectile dudes. They're just so hateable. Everything about them I hate. Anyway, let's be catching this thief. There you go. We caught the thief all right. I've waited. There's plenty more parcels up here, so we're just going to continue up this swing. Ooh, treasure, man, if we do. Anyway, by the time we catch the next parcel thief, the level should be over. Quite a glorious way to end up an episode, I suppose. After we defeat that guy, of course, and then head back here for said parcel thief. Who was looking for earlier? Okay, where's he at? Where's he at? Where's he at? Where's he at? There he at. There he at. There he at. There he at. Okay, come back here, boy. I'm gonna destroy you. Oh boy, I'm not doing a great job destroying him, am I? Okay, here we go. We're getting him slowly, but surely we are. But man, why do these guys have to be as fast as they are? It's so inconvenient. Okay, we're gonna start getting this guy instead now because I feel like it. No reason. There you go, we got one of them. And then we completed the challenge whilst we were at it. Oh, sweet, glorious victory. I'm not going to apologize for making your ears bleed right now because that's clearly what they're doing given how terrible that singing was right there. Man, so many points of a time bonus. Don't mind if we do. We easily earn triple stars there. Even got a charm. But with that being said and done, we will be continuing with more bonus mission maps in the next episode. And as for this current episode, well, it's been concluded right here. 
right now. Now with that all being said and done, this video is coming to an end, but before that happens, I first want to thank all my Blazing Knights and Scotland Dragons whose support allow me to continue pumping out quality videos like this one. Without them, this all wouldn't be possible. Therefore, I genuinely appreciate every last one of you from the bottom of my heart. If you enjoyed this video, I have others you can watch by clicking on screen now, and you can even subscribe by pressing the button on the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll be seeing you in the next one. Ben. Until that moment arises, peace.